Hi folks, uh, it's been a long time since I uh, put a video online. Actually, um, I was traveling quite a bit in between. And uh, then uh, I contracted COVID, so I was out for some time. So because of which uh, I couldn't actually put more videos on. And after the summers, we kind of went on a high test and you know, multiple things were happening. So we decided to, you know, uh, concentrate on those things before we got back to the videos and now we are back so we're going to be teaching you how to make uh, you know elephant face today since Ganpati festival is just around the corner we thought we'll take this opportunity to teach you how to make an elephant face today um, or a Ganpati face today if you want uh, of course we can teach you the, to make an entire Ganpati as well but that might take a lot longer than just making a face Plus a face can go anywhere including you know on things like bags and you know baby clothes or you know or gifts actually even gifts or if you can just put a cap in the bottom it becomes a uh, it becomes like a pencil or a pen cap and things like that so yeah so it's got a lot of versatility associated with it and like last time we had put a lot of these human faces on bags we made these to put on bags as well so you know so so as usual to begin with you need a, a crochet hook some uh, this is basically skin colored yarn and uh, a pair of scissors um, a needle a darning needle some complementary colors if you want to do any embroidery on top of the on top of the head of the elephant like here so um, so we begin with uh, so we've taken a 3 mm crochet hook because the yarn is a little bit thinner so 3 mm crochet hook we begin by making a usual uh, magic uh, ring and you put uh, 10 single crochet in in that okay so we begin with the magic ring then we start with 10 single crochets in that so we'll um, we'll shorten the i mean we'll shorten the loop but not close it too much because we want a little bit of space inside just so that we can give it a you know an impression of a trunk with a little bit of space in it so this is 2 4 5 um 6 7 8 9 10 so you put ten single crochet in in, in it and we pull it and we close the loop because we uh, bring this and we make a slip knot so this is we close the loop actually and we do have a little bit of a space between just to give an impression of a trunk you know just a little bit of space in between the loop so then we start with we just do two lines of uh, single crochets no increases because we wanted to you know uh, make it a little um, tapering in the end and then sort of bulges out a little later so we just do one single crochet in each single crochet uh, that we did in the previous round so 10 single crochet in the previous round and 10 single crochets in this round as well okay So this is here and then we do another um, 10 single crochets again in the third round as well one one in each single crochet because we don't want to you know uh, create a bulge at this at the at the beginning three So this is three lines of single ten single crochet each okay as you can see it's already started to form like a little bit of a, a cup a small cup so now in this we will increase the so we'll take we'll put two in the first one and we'll leave three and then put two in the second one so first stitch two in the first stitch second third and fourth we're going to put one one stitch stitch in that then the fifth one again we put 
two in it and on the sixth seventh in the eighth we put one one stitch crochet single crochet stitch in it ninth we put two again okay and the tenth we put one okay so this is like a every third stitch we put uh, one extra stitch okay so this this now becomes 13 stitches so we have 13 stitches a slight bit of an increase in the trunk uh, girth and we're going to do single crochet in the next two lines okay so 13 single crochet in this line and 13 in the next one It's already forming like a little bit of a thimble, uh, you know, like a yarn thimble sort of thing. So, you know, you're on the right track. So, 13 in this line. And then 13 in the next one. Okay. Okay, so here we have a little bit more of a thimble and we continue with the two more lines in it, uh, two more lines of it, you know. Thirteen stitches again, and the next two lines. So altogether, together after the increase we have four lines of single, single crochet stitches in each line, okay. So four lines of just maintaining status quo after the three extra uh, sing, uh, single crochet stitches we put in, okay. Sorry about the noise. This is my cat trying to gain some attention as usual. Bit of a drama queen actually or drama king in this case. So this is another one line so we have four lines of single crochet now after the increase so to do what we did was did 10 single crochets in the first line after the magic ring then 10 two lines of 10 single crochet then in the line after that we increased it to 13 and one two three four lines of 13 one single crochet so we're not increased after the first increase we just wanted to get a little bit of a length in place before we do the next increase so that it looks realistically like a like an elephant's trunk is supposed to look so this is the kind of increase that we are looking at this is the point so here if you see initially it was tapering and then we have one two three four five six lines at much the same uh, size and then the increase happens so we just done four and we'll do two more okay two more lines of same I mean, status quo single crochet before we do the next round of increase and this we're doing because you know Ganpati festival is just around the corner so we thought we might as well start this instead of waiting for an, a better time or something like that you know auspicious time and all that sorry about that there was a stupid call that came and it sort of switched off the phone so now we have one two three of ten then the fourth one is the 13 then you one two three four five of 13 and this is the sixth one so we'll do the sixth one and then we'll start the increase sixth one of 13 stitches and the next line we will begin the increase okay So we thought we'll do it this time, you know, because Ganpati, an auspicious time and all that. 
you could have done it earlier as well but then we weren't really uh, it's just too much happening i was traveling there was stuff that was going on and and then i fell ill and quite badly i didn't get covid throughout and during the peak of covid season and here i go to singapore and pick up covid on the way back so yeah so there it is so now we've done um, so this is 10 10 10 13 then the third one two three four five six rows of 13 each now we'll leave two and do two so one two in the first one then second crochet stitch single crochet third crochet stitch single crochet then another fourth uh, two single crochets then fifth stitch single crochet sixth single crochet then two single crochet then seven no, no eight and ninth one one tenth two single crochet okay eleventh twelve one one and then thirteenth two single crochets okay so we've given a little bit of an increase to the you know still we don't want it to become fully uh, you know increased because the, this thing is really quite small the trunk is still quite small so we we'll want to make it a little bigger so we'll do two rounds of single crochet again gradual increase we don't want it to become suddenly very big you know the head so gradual increase so one two three single crochets throughout so this is the first line of single crochets after the increase that we just did should now be around 20 single crochets actually So then the second line, single crochets. Let's see after the second line, if it needs a little more length, then we will give it a little more length and then increase it. So this is the second line we're doing of single crochets. now we can measure it against this so against this we can see um, we need a little bit more length so maybe one more line of single crochet before we begin another increase okay so third line of single crochet Now, if you were making Ganpati head, then we would increase the tapering bit of it, okay? So, you know, this portion we would increase. If you're making Ganesha head, we would increase this portion a little bit, make it a little bit like till here, or maybe make it a little more tapering and make it here, and then try to sew it so that it bends, you know? So that you get the customary trunk movement of Ganesha when you're making the Ganesha head. Anyways, making a Ganesha doll takes quite a bit of uh, effort. Not just because you're making a trunk and the head and all that. Those are very, uh, those are there in elephant dolls as well. But 
the nisha doll has to be properly you know adorned so to speak you know you put the mukut and the i mean the the headdress the jewelry the clothes everything has to be like as good as it gets you know what i mean so now we'll do the increase the next round of increments so first we did what was we did three rounds of 10 then we increased it to 13 i mean after three after three we increased one crochet stitch and then we did four and two three four four rounds of um, you know making it uh, this thing actually six rounds of 13 and then we increased it by uh, two i mean after every two stitch we put in one extra stitch so we increased that and now we did three rounds of it and we are now going to do the uh, what we'll do now is to put two stitches after every one stitch okay so sorry. so two crochet then one single crochet then two single crochet if you want you can actually put a stitch marker which could be as sim something as simple as another color yarn like a black yarn or something just to put you know that this is the place where the this thing has started so if i want i can do that actually just give me a minute i'll show you how to do it so for instance if i started here right i started here so i can put a stitch marker here so so every time I'm I'm I know that okay this is the place where the the increment starts so I'll count from here. Two. Again one. That way you don't have to keep a count actually if you put a stitch marker or you're not scared of forgetting your count. Two. One, two, and there's one. Sorry. And again, two. One, two. And one. So, we're now at the starting point. So, as you can see, it's become like a bit of a funnel. Now, to make the head, we need to increase it a little bit more, you know, but not uh, just immediately. So, we'll put one, one, one round of single crochet again in this and then increase it, okay? You can, uh, you know, make the trunk longer or thinner or broader, you know, you can play around with it and see what, what kind you like. You can make it a little more limp and more rope-like if you want, if you want to play around with it. All sorts of things you can do. So this is just like how I'm doing it. You can actually increase the number of, the tapering portion you can increase. You can increase this quite a bit actually by another six stitches and then this becomes really long you know so all that you can do Since I am doing this on my mobile, I keep getting a lot of messages that sort of pop up every now and then. So we've done the one round after uh, increment. And now we're going to increase it a little bit more so that it becomes like a proper head. So we're going to do every, every stitch, we're going to put two stitches. It will bulb out quite a bit. So And this is what we want because how else are we going to get the head shape in place if it doesn't bulb out quite a bit. 
so every single crochet stitch we are putting two single crochet and we left the stitch marker in place just so you know we know where we were uh, in terms of starting and ending there is um, there, you also get professional stitch markers it's like a safety pins thing you can put in here but you can you can do it just as well with like you know a different colored yarn and once you're done you can just pull it out So here we are finally coming to the end of the increasing phase. So this is the increasing phase that we saw. We started here and now we are almost at the bulbous portion of the head. right? But this is where the increase will end. From here on we will stabilize and decrease, stabilize and decrease, you know, as you, I'll show it to you. In every stitch we put a double crochet which basically has increased the number of crochet stitches to double of what it was at the beginning of this you know and now we have uh, we have to put this in place because we have to make the head taper a bit okay so we here now okay as you can see it looks like a witch's hat if you turn it over it's almost like a hat or it can even be a cactus <laughs> or one portion of a cactus or something not so nice <laughs> anyway so this is what it looks like and then we have to reduce the size of the uh, we have to make it more you know round so we'll put one single crochet thing in it I mean uh, line in it and then we will start decreasing from the next line on as you can see we are still leaving the stitch marker intact because we want to know where we are stopping and starting our line count from so here we are now that we're going to be decreasing it we're going to do it 10 9 8 like that you know Sorry about the howlathon. As usual, my cat has just got out of his sleep mode and he just wants to make his presence felt. The song would have continued, so you have to sometimes tell the fellow to shut up. Because he just goes on his own howl mode and this happens... Uh, in the morning, the afternoon, and the night, and night whenever he's awake. So we still have a little bit of it. It's looking like a bit of a floppy hat situation, but we're going to be reducing the size of the head, and rather rapidly actually, because we want it to be you know um, round. But uh, not too big because the trunk isn't too big. So, you know, neither should the head be too big. So, we are now at the end of the single crochet line. And now we will begin the reduction line. Okay. 
so yes so it will reduce it quite uh, rapidly rather okay so we will begin by putting five crochet stitches and then reducing in the sixth one one two three four five okay and then the sixth and the seventh we do together and yeah then again one two three four five and again the sixth and the seventh together one one two three four five sixth and seventh together one two three four five six and seven together one, two, three, four, five, and then the six and the seven together. One, two, three, four, five, and the six and seven together. One, two, three, four, five, and a six and seven together. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. So we've completed one one round of reduction we will just do one single crochet round round and then go to the second round reduction so single crochet in the next round this is so that it looks smooth you know stabilize it and then reduce it As you can see, it's now sort of forming a head shape, if you must call it that. And now again we'll do five single crochet and then six and seven together. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven together. Oh, half. Ah. So, yeah. 
fix and sand to give one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven together. One, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven together. One, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven. It's become like sort of a face, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now the next uh, two lines we're going to be doing simple, uh, you know, single crochet, and then we'll start uh, tapering up, up. Actually, three lines we'll do single straight crochet. Um, single, single, single crochet in each other. Uh, single crochet hooks. I mean, so in each other, single crochets. So the previous line we'll do single crochets for the next three lines, and after that we will start reducing and closing off the head in earnest. Okay, so this three line will just do one one single crochets in each, and we'll use uh, leftover you know scrap yarn for stuffing this head. Um, we do a lot of that scrap yarn recycling for our uh, toys. We don't want the head to be too big, so we're just putting three lines of single crochet because it's already acquired some um, size. So I just want to like provide enough space for eyes and stuff to go and then reduce it. So we'll do three, should be good enough, and then start reducing it. This is the first line will be completed. The second line will do. In subsequent, uh, you know, uh, videos will teach you some of the things that we will teach you would be like, you want to teach you how to make um, small hats, you know, witch's hat, or you can make it small, big, however you want to make it, you can do that, but we'll teach you with small hats. And then we'll also teach you how to do um, things like uh, small, small toys, cactuses and all that, cactuses and small... Um, utensils actually we can put you we can show you how to make omelets in a pan using crochet if you want and we can put magnets at the bottom of it and you know create like a fridge magnet with crochet that sort of thing if you want to do that we can do that as well or i'll just teach you how to make um like a frying pan or something with eggs and stuff like that and you can just decide whether you want to put it as a fridge magnet or hand it as a jewel or uh, from your 
bag or something like that you know it will look cute so small toys we'll teach you how to do and since uh, this is fall i mean so called in the western hemisphere so we will also do you know like some traditional halloween stuff like which is a hat and stuff like that which is quite interesting to make you know it's fun and things that you can do together with your kids and all that stuff right so we've done that we've done two rounds of um single crochet and we'll do the one more round of single crochet and then we will straight away start reducing the size of the head so as of now it's looking like a a vase if you must it's looking like a you know like a sort of like an unfinished vase so third round we'll do and we'll start reducing the size of the head i mean actually closing the head to be precise not reducing the size but making the back of the head the place where the ears will go right so then if you want you can do a little bit of embroidery like this fellow here has a has some embroidery on top of his head which i think is very traditional indian indian elephants always have some embellishment on their body so you know so not embroidery but they have a lot of paint on their body you know so so typically yes all, all elephants we make will have some uh, embroidery on on them this is the third one so we're going to do this third line of single crochet as quickly as possible we'll do So we've done the three lines of single crochet, and as you can see, the head is now big enough um, to look quite substantial. And we now need to make the back of it as quickly as possible so that it doesn't become too big for us. Okay. So we'll do four uh, single crochets and then two together. So one, two. I'm doing together. Then one. So we're doing uh, one, two, three. Four, and then two together so this is like the beginning of the back of the head one two three four then back or two together then one two three four then two together one two three four then two together one two three four two of them together Then one, two, three, four, then five, then six together. Okay. So this is already started taking. Now, now we won't uh, do any more single crochet lines here. Now we'll start. We'll immediately start closing it. So now three uh, single crochets will be put in. Th 
and then we'll do fourth and fifth together fourth and fifth together one two sorry three fourth and fifth together one two three four five together one two three four and 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 five together so we've done two rhymes, rounds of consecutive uh, reduction and as you can see the head is almost closing now so I'll just uh, do a little bit of stuffing inside the trunk so that you know inside this portion we'll put a little more stuffing of scrap yarn so that it holds its shape you know so we'll have a little bit of um, scrap yarn just use scrap yarn So this holds its shape and we put more scrap yarn in the upper uh, face region so that it you know, again holds its shape. So a little bit more scrap yarn inside. So as you can see, we put quite a bit of scrap yarn. We'll do a little bit more. We'll do the next round, which is two single crochets in the third and fourth together. And then before we close it off completely, we'll put more scrap yarn into it. Okay. So just we'll just do next round of, of reduction. We're doing. One, two, and then third and fourth together. Okay, so third and fourth together. It will start reducing quite rapidly. One, two, third and fourth together. One, Third and fourth together. Which is one, two, third and fourth together. Okay, and then we'll one and two and third and fourth together. One and two and third and fourth together. One, sorry, and two and third and fourth together. Okay, so now. It's almost like we've done this and we'll do the final round of putting in leftover yarn. And then we'll remove this as well because um, we are done using this. It served its purpose. So we'll put 
a little more of scrap yarn in, in it. Even if it's a little overstop at this point of time, it's okay because we are anyways putting one more round of reduction. A couple of more rounds of reduction, so, you know, like, before we close the head, so. So it's, it's quite full, but we can still squeeze a little bit more just because we're going to do a couple more. I mean, just we just have to do one two more rounds of reduction basically so just put a little extra even if it's extra at this point in time it'll, it'll just grow the head will grow a little you know so there's a lot of scrap yarn and a lot of these toy projects because you know you put toy stuffing as well but you know, there's no harm in using recycling some of our scraps, right? So, as of now, it's quite full, as you can see. But the good thing is that you know, because it's so full, there's no. It's quite smooth. And I'll pull this. This has been pulled out. We can add this to the scrap that is inside. And now we'll just close this. Finally, we we'll just close the mouth. This portion will just close, okay? So that there's no more. So we just need to do, we just need to do one, uh, one, one. I mean, alternate uh, closures and then every stitch closure. So this goes in like this. One, then two, three. One, two, three, one, then two, three, one, then two, three. Just so that the, you know, the back portion is not too stretched, so we've extended over two rounds instead of doing closing it in one round so you can see it's almost there And now we will just do um, every every hook uh, one two together, then three four together, then five six together like that. We'll just keep doing it till it closes. Three four five six seven eight nine. 11, 12, and 13. And now we can do it opposite this. 14. Okay. And we'll just use this. And leave a little bit of extra yarn just so that, you know, if I need to, if you need to do a little more stitching or anything, like the ears or something, you have yarn just available for you. So as you can see, we've we've uh, so as you can see this the head is done. We can squeeze and taper or whatever. Yeah, this is done. We'll do ears now. So we want big ears. Elephants have big ears, so we'll do ears, and then we'll stitch together everything and embroider and you know just complete it. So for yours, we take the same yarn color as a head and the same crochet hook, three millimeter crochet hook. So we just do like, 
make the magic ring and we do a uh, double crochet okay so we're going to do one two three four five five double crochets we've done we pull this ring then we do a corner so we just do chain two okay we're chaining two so for the uh, ears we're going to do we've done five uh, double crochet one two three four five then we chain two to give a corner uh, feel and then we're going to do five double crochets again okay two three four five And we're gonna just loop and close this put a slip stitch and then next round okay in the next round we'll do two uh, double crochets in every alternate double crochet so two here and then the third one single double crochet oh god again two here And a single double crochet then again one two two here and since this is coming inside the corner one we'll put two here one two and to make the corner a little sharp this is the pointy end of the ear we'll chain three one two three and put two more in this Okay, so every alternate, then one in the next one, sorry, two in the next one, like the last one we did two, so two, and this one, okay, then one, and the next two, I'm sorry, next one, then two again, wow, two, then one then finally two and we do a slip stitch and close this second line okay then the third line so third line again we'll do two and two so we'll be we'll be doing two double crochet I mean two double crochet in one stitch then next two stitches will do single uh, double crochets one two and then third four again in the same stitch okay then one two and uh, two single crochets in each then two together then two single again And then two together and again corner thing has come up so again two and we chain three one two three then two then two in the next one just like we did in the other half of the ears then one another one what is happening here and then two together then again one and one and then two together then one and one and then two together 
and then one, sorry, one, and finally we do a slip stitch and close that. Now is this, is this ear is big enough? We'll judge and we'll put it across and see. Do we need to make one more round of the ear or is it big enough for it? I think we need to make one more round of the ear just so that it's big enough for the, bigger than the half of the head. So one more round goes in, put in two and then we leave three and then we'll do two. So one, two, three, double crochet, then we do two together. Okay, the same. Then there is one, two, three, then two together. Then one, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. And two together. One, two. Then one double crochet. One double crochet. And one double crochet. And then two together. And since again this is the corner thing, so we'll do three chain and we'll do two. One, two, three. Okay. Then we two together. But of course, if you find that anything has gone too big, the ears, for instance, have come too big as compared to the head, then you can obviously reverse it, open it, and make it show smaller. None. three single crochets and then two together one two three then two together one two three two together one and two so this is this is looking quite big if it's too big, I will obviously reverse it, but just to get an idea if it's too big or not. No, it's not actually too big. So, for instance, if this is the portion that I want, it's not too big. So, no, it's not too big. So, yeah, so I'll just close it. This is one, two, three, four rounds to make the ears. Okay, so I'll just close it. And so, slip knot that can end. And this goes here and snip it. So this is one. And we'll do one more before we join them together. Just to, you know. So we do. 10 so one double crochet the first one second third we chain three because that's approximately the length of double crochet actually three four 
five we done five double crochet and then we put two chain stitch and we do five more one two three four and five okay and we do a slip knot in the first one and close the loop oh okay that brings us to the second round right so the second round we do one two three first one and then we do two one two one so two together then one single crochet then two single crochet then one single crochet then two single crochet like that we do two one two one two one so two and then the next one we do one then two And since this is the corner, we'll do two more in this. And we chain three, one, two, three. And we do two more. Right. Then we do two more in the next one, just like the other one, the other side. Then one, then two, ah. then one, then two, and then and we do this then we'll do one i mean three chain to make one double crochet and this round we are doing we did two 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 right uh two uh, two double crochet then two single crochet then two double crochet then two single crochet like that we do so two two double cro i mean two double crochet in one stitch then uh, single single double crochet is the next two one two then two double crochet in the next one then we're going to do two single double crochets one two and the next two together and single double crochet single double crochet and then the next two together bring us to the corner so we'll do two more then we do three chain then we do two then we do two again just like we did in the last in the other side that is so two here then we do two single double crochets one and one and then two so the pattern for this line is two one one two one one the previous line is two one two one this is two one one two one one the next line will be two one 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 two one 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 so one one then two then one then one oh for the love of god then two then one 
then one and slip and then the final round we're going to be doing so So the final uh, thing for the ears. So two one 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 two one 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 and two. One, 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 and then two, one, 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 and two. One, 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 two, so we are now literally at the end of the second year, one more, then two, and one and one then we loop off and close and that's it we already have enough yarn to stitch so we not have a long yarn for this one but this is it so we're done with the two years okay we keep this aside and now we will start attach attaching embroidering and all those stuff so So we take the darning needle. First we'll make the eye so that we know which side is up and down for our elephant. So we're just going to So we're gonna try try and see if we can see the eyes first. So obviously the eyes have to go here. So we will try inserting it from the trunk and we do yes, we bring it out here. Okay. Trunk because there's enough space for the the knot to go in. So we will do so there's one, two, three. I think it's almost like four. And then we do here. Yes. So take it out here. And we'll give it a bit of a slant. So one, two, three. So here. And okay, and we want the eyes to be nice, so we're going to make a little bit of a curve here. So, one, two, three, okay, and we then make it here Oop. 
it's really one, two. And we bring it to the back. Clear the eyes and then we snip off the yarn. And then I think it will just come out a bit, loosen it a bit from here. Yes. This is done. And now we'll add the two ears at the on this side. So first we'll add with the one that has a little bit of yarn available. So we're going to just do here, okay, and then we just take the other, other ear as well and then attach it here, so that you know, just it has to be at the same level and all that stuff. I want one ear to be on the top and the other ear to be at the bottom sort of situation, you know. Do it like this. You see, these are stuck and we're just kind of going to do a little bit more here so that it doesn't get unstuck easily. Right. And do here and take it out from here. Bottom. Let's rub the excess yarn that is there because the ears are more or less stuck. We will just do the bottom of the ear as well. And we'll just do. A little bit of embroidery on the top and this is where you have your big eared elephant ready. <laughs> Let's see, just remove these two um, odd ends. Oh, actually this one we wanted but now that's, we will remove this as well. And if you want we can just Use this to down the bottom of the ear for the elephant's head, so that you know it doesn't look like the elephant is a butterfly or something. <laughs> that can happen sometimes. So we'll do it like this here. <coughs> And we will just do it at the bottom. Three stitches. Two. Ah. And three. And then we'll do similar place. We'll do it the other ear as well. 
If we want to do, we can do a little bit more embroidery here on top of the head, and there you have the elephant head ready. So this is what it looks like. I can do a little bit of embroidery here on the top. You can do it with orange or blue or yellow. It seems okay. Do it with yellow a little bit, and just. I can do it with blue as well. I can do it with blue. I'll do it with blue. So it just looks quite nice. And then a little bit of embroidery in the top. Yeah. So. So we'll just do it from inside one of these, inside the ears, so that it doesn't show where we're taking it out. The knot doesn't show, okay? So we will just do like a bit of a, you know. Here. Mm -hmm. You do here. A little bit of embroidery here. Let's see what elephant is. Embroidered elephant is. Embroidered head of elephant is done. So this is this is what it looks like. I think it looks absolutely spiffy. You know the elephant head. You let us know what you think of it. Uh, I think it's quite cute. Uh, but uh, well, I'm biased, as you know. <laughs> If you have any poking ends and all, you can always put them in. But this is the elephant head. And this is what it looks like. And you know, let us know what you think of it. If you want us to do the entire elephant body and everything, we will we can show that to you as well. But this is what the head is like, and you can add it to any other project like a blanket or a gift or a bag, anything else that you can add it to. So let us know what you think of it. And if you do like a content, please uh, like and subscribe to us also drop us any comments of any particular uh, item you want us to make we can show you how to make um, um, hats for kids because the winter season is coming so we can show you that as well so if you want want that or anything else just tell us and we will try and put it on and uh, you know have a nice Ganesh Chaturthi actually uh, everyone thank you so much